Hi, Danny. Hi. Thanks for sharing your time with us today. Happy to do so. Thanks. You come from such an interesting mix of cultures that I can only imagine what Christmas must have been like in your house, like the sights and the sounds and the smells and the food. What was it like? Well, I guess I, I do come from uh, various cultural backgrounds, including Egyptian, Lebanese, and Italian. And so the, the common thread in all the different cultures was our faith. Mm -hmm. So Christmas was beautiful. I mean, we've all heard that Christmas and our faith is universal, that it is uh, manifest in so many different cultures. But to live it is, is, a, is a wonderful treat. Uh, as sweet as all the Middle Eastern delights, uh, Syrian, Lebanese treats, and uh, different food items that we would have to enjoy together. Um, I was blessed to have uh, a good number of relatives living nearby. Right. Uh, and so that was wonderful and it was, uh, Christmas was a great place, a great moment of the year to, uh, to be together. A lot of singing, a lot of food, and a lot of family. What are some typical, typical foods that would be found on the Tarkid dinner table, yeah. Christmas dinner table? We saw a lot of, uh, I mean, a Middle Eastern table, uh, even, even a Mediterranean table, is, is like a portrait. You, you really glorify God and thank God for everything you see and then everything you enjoy. And, of course, the, the Middle Eastern hospitality, Mediterranean hospitality, is everyone is welcome. So that's something that was very neat. We always had guests, unexpected guests. Someone would bring someone. Door was open. Someone was mourning for the death of someone or lonely or visiting would be in our house. And uh, we were hosts many years, which is nice. But the table would look colorful. Green things, purple things, uh, eggplants, uh, vine leaves, really? um, dips of all sorts, and of course salads. So it would be it would be nice. We would always be very thankful, even as children. We would be very grateful to have all this, and uh, and also the, of course uh, at the core of all that was was mass or being uh, very connected with Rome. We we always used to enjoy uh, in Quebec where I grew up. We would have access to uh, to television oh. from the Vatican. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And then you got married, and you added this whole other element of cultures to your life. So what does Christmas look like now, or what? how has your wife's culture enriched your Christmas celebration? I met my, my wife, Antonia, in 1995, and we, uh, she's of Colombian origin. And so it's, very, it's a very nice culture. I mean, it's, it's also very much focused on music on um, different types of devotions, novenas. Um, musical instruments are everywhere at the church, at home. Uh, people come over just to, to pray the novena, which is something I didn't know in my, in my upbringing. Uh, it was very, prayer was very family-based, but here it's larger community. And uh, of course the food, we have one ritual in Florida where we, my, fam my wife's family is from Florida. We would uh, prepare empanadas all, oh. all day. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets involved all day, and you know it's very difficult to yes. make the inside. I think it's called incortido or something. Yes. And and doing it by hand is is a family uh, bonding yeah. exercise, and also when you're enjoying it with friends after midnight mass, it's it's also part of the uh, prayer, uh, meditative rituals. Maybe like the mon monks might do, a Benedictine right. monks or others working with your hands. We we would do that at home, and it's wonderful. Oh, that sounds yeah. so wonderful. And yeah. now with two children, they love uh, Biancicos. It's a Colombian type of song, maybe Spanish as well. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, we enjoy that tremendously, and it really gets the kids involved in all the, the liturgy and the prayers and the songs. Do you still make empanadas today when you're here for Christmas? We, two years ago was the last time we made them, because last year we were in Florida. But when we are here, my wife and I do make them. And two years ago, I made them for my parents. So you can wow. imagine they were getting their... Uh, uh, exposure to Colombian cuisine through our new Christmas traditions. Very nice. Wow, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing your family traditions with us, Danny. My pleasure. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and everyone as well.